Hey, what's going on with you? Not much. We're going to do a page thing. See, I'm trying to do a movement with you for reals in all sorts of ways. Really? Yeah. How much uh, green stuff you got? Ooh, I'm going to like 50 bucks on it. Oh, baby, you got to better. For real? Either you got my money or I'm putting my foot in your ass. Which one is it? I'll just catch you on the rebound, baby. I can rock your world, baby, for much more. I know you will, but I'll just catch you later on, though. Yeah, well, I don't care what your excuses is. I don't care if you're sick, tired, sleep, or dead. You either got my money or we're gonna have a problem. Yeah, well, I'm not a $50 whore, asshole. Oh, hell no. Something about to happen to somebody else that's gonna happen to you. My husband looks very mad. He's not my husband, you dope. What are you looking at? Keep your eyes on the road. But madam, your angry friend was There's hitting no my- There's no friend, okay? Would you just concentrate on one thing at a time? Just drive. But I am not knowing where to. See, I must report where I'm taking you. Hey, watch it! Shit! You crazy? You're trying to kill me or something? I'm sorry, madam. I'm very sorry. Well, thanks for saving my ass anyway. Keep the change. Hey, baby! Hi, Mama! Oh, I missed you. I missed you, too. <laughs> I may need something to drink. Why don't you go watch TV? Okay. Hey, how was your day? You okay? I asked how your day was. And I don't want to talk about my day. Guess what? Phil's finally made up his mind. We're moving to Chicago. He wants me to go with him right away. Great, thanks. I know I'm not leaving you enough time to find another sitter for Andy. I'm sorry, but I really gotta go. I'm happy for you. What's with you? something happen? I don't want to talk about it. Tell me! My life sucks, okay? Is that a good enough answer for you? Then do what I did. Stop hustling and get off the street. Andy, honey, why don't you go wash your face and hands? But mommy... Just go do it and then you can have some ice cream. Don't ever bring up that shit in front of my kid again. I'm sorry, I just... Look, you are really putting me in a bind here. I want to be happy for you, I do. And deep down, I am, I guess. Maybe even a little jealous too. Don't be. It'll happen for you. No, it won't. And your timing is shitty. Thanks, girl. You don't know what this means to me. You're gonna get out too. I know it.
Hey, baby. Oh, God, I missed you, Stella. How are you doing, sweetheart? That's my baby, Ben. Spending my days thinking about you, baby. Where you been? I've been in New York. New York, huh? Yeah, it's a... Uh... Business or pleasure? Business conference. <laughs> you know how that is, baby, oh, don't you? I do. Yeah, I mean, it's... Boring, 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 boring. Yeah, it's awful. It's terribly boring. It's... But I know what you need. Are you ready for me? Yeah, there's something I could get up. What's the matter? Still back here. I can't breathe. Oh my god. Oh jeez. Operator, how may I help you? Yes, this is an emergency. He's having a heart attack or something in room 313, and I don't know what to Okay, miss. First, you need to calm down. It says here you are at the Sahara Hotel. Yes, yes, he's in room 313. Are you near him? Can you see him? No, no, I left him in the room, and I don't know him. Can you go back and stay with him until the paramedics arrive? No, no, I don't know him. I'm sorry. An ambulance will be there soon. And Bryant, please. Are you in trouble again, madam? Shit, not you again. It is the same angry man. Will you please just concentrate on driving? Why are you always mad to me? I'm not mad to you, okay? You are seeming like it. Look, mister. AJ. My name is AJ Sharma. Pleased to meet you. Is everything okay with you? Not really, but thanks for asking. Here is my card. You know, just in case you needed any more rides, you can call me. Thanks for the ride. By the way, it's Amy. Why do you make it so hard for Silky? Don't I give you everything? Silky, I need a new dress. Silky! How can I say no to that? You tell me. Yeah, good. <laughs> Please stop. Tell me what I did. I have a soft spot in my heart for you. I do. <laughs> I cry when family's mama died. You lied to me, you stole from me, you bitch. You're holding out on me. No, that's not true. I'm not holding out on you. I give you everything. Girl, you got some nerve. I swear on my daughter. Okay. Let me find out you're scamming on me. And this ain't over. Straighten your act up. If Zapata thinks you're holding out on him, well, you know what that means. Huh? Make sure you call your clients for tomorrow. Sorry, I'm late. Drink? Sure. Mm. 
fucking beautiful. You haven't seen it all yet. Can't wait. You can wait until I get back, can't you? Oh, what the hell? Oh, hey, What's going on in here? It's a party. Celebration. <laughs> hmm? This is not the deal. Oh, wait. Relax. It is the deal. We it's the deal with me. No, no, no. Oh, yes, it not. is. Oh, yes, it is. Let get her, guys. Get her out of here. Get her out of here. Go. 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 Get her on the bed. Come on. I just want to go to bed. Is Andy asleep? She's out like a light. Honey, this looks bad. Ow. Ow. But I think you need some stitches. That bad. You should go to the emergency room. But uh, Andy. We're going. I'm not taking no for an answer. What about Andy? Shit. I'll take her to Mrs. Lazoya. She's always asking to help. She'll understand. I missed the bus. I'm sorry. I missed the bus. What is your problem? You people don't know how to tell time? I'm sorry, Mr. Delgado. I'm sorry I hired you. You know what? You're gone. You I can need this pick job. up your check tomorrow. Hi, Amy. Hi, Dr. Sharma. What happened to your forehead? I fell down the stairs. Those damn stairs, my God. They always get you. I'm not gonna let the stairs do this again, okay? You deserve better. Let's have a look. Doctor, could I get something for energy? I've been really tired lately. Does it hurt? No, no. We will take just little blood. Okay. Hey! Hello, Amy. Amy, that man hurt you? Oh, no, no. He didn't do this. It was just, uh, a John. I... John? John who? Did you have him arrested? No, John didn't get arrested. But it's all right, I'm fine. Are you okay? I'm feeling mad. What happened? What happened? I lost my job as a busboy. Busboy, huh? How many damn jobs you got? Only one now, just my taxi job. Well, one's better than none. 
It is shameful I have lost my job because of my own fault. It looks like you need cheering up more than I do. You want to go get some coffee? My treat. I don't want any coffee. It's not like I treat very often, so you better say yes. Well, I think it's better off that you're not even working in a place like that anyway. I have to work hard to make my dream come true. What is this dream? I mean, do you want to be a doctor, a lawyer, own a 7-Eleven? 7-Eleven? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just kidding. I have dreamed to be success in America. To make money, huh? Make my family proud. Well, I'm sorry to burst your bubble, AJ, but just because you moved to America doesn't mean that this dream of yours is going to come true. There's no such thing as the American dream. It's a lie, a joke. Why would you say this? Because everybody I know, including myself, pretty much got the shitty end of the American stick. I don't understand. What does shitty end stick? <laughs> It's just a bigger speech. You know, like what goes around comes around, that kind of stuff. Goes around. You have too many sayings here. I can't understand them. So who are you staying with anyway? My uncle's family. But I may have to move from there. I feel my auntie wants me to move out. Why? I'm a father. In the way... I get home odd hours because of my job. Yeah? You know, I need a roommate. You can move in with me if you want to. What? Yeah, you know, get out on your own. I don't know. I mean, under one condition. You would have to babysit my daughter, Andy, while I'm at work. But trust me, she is a great kid. Here, let me give you my number. I mean, you'd have your own room and everything. Just think about it. I gotta go. I will pay. Okay, thanks. Do you really think you're going to be happy with Phil? You really love him? I could learn to. It's close enough. He seems like a nice guy. He takes care of me. I'm talking about emotional stuff. Real love. Real love? I really want this to work for you, I do. But why do you have to move so far away? I worry about you. It was you in the emergency room the other day. Yeah, well, never again. You need to get out. Far away out. To where? To some hick town and some minimum wage waitress job where I can hardly get by? No thanks. Besides, I have Andy to think about. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, just, uh... Must be this medication. You sure? No, I, I'm fine. Go. Go. Have yourself a wonderful new life. Go. What the hell is going on? The client just called. How come you didn't show up for work today? It's okay, I don't feel well. We cannot conduct business this way, baby. It's okay, please. I'm sick. Cut me some slack. Cut the crap and drag your ass to work or else. Well, then go to hell. Leave me alone.
on, you son of a bitch! No, Andy, don't! Oh, AJ. Sorry, I didn't know it was you. Uh, have a seat. I called the number you gave me, but some lady was screaming at me over the phone. Oh, that was you. I'm sorry, I thought... It was the right number, I just thought you were somebody else. Is everything okay with you? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> fine. So, have you found a place to live yet? No. That is the reason I was calling you. Well, my invitation to live here is still open. You don't look sick to me. <laughs> I knew you were holding out on Silky, doing business behind my back. And with your kid here, just come. Listen, you leave her. Yeah. this shit, man. You lied to me, baby. And who is this prick? He's just a friend, honest. Tear this place up. Find my cash. Find the money this bitch been holding out on me. Where is it? Where? I told you there is no money. I told you. Well, let's take a tour around this shithole, shall we? Hey, so, there's a door back here I won't open. Break it down. Little girl, girl, just call the cops. Let's get the hell out of here. You didn't see shit. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. The police will be here soon. No. The police aren't coming. Yes. She called. Oh, no. She doesn't have a phone in her room. Look, I'm really sorry about the other day. Why won't you tell me who those people were? It's over. Forget it. They stormed into your house, hit you. You didn't even call the police. Why are you afraid of those people? Look, it's almost the end of the month. All of my bills are due and I have to pay the rent. So are you moving in or not? Do you know how scared your daughter was? That is not right. Little girls need to be protected. So move in with me and help me protect her. I could really use your help. How much do I owe you? Don't worry about it. Thanks. The ball's in your court. If you don't want to move in, I'll just find someone else. I will move in tomorrow! I will let him know. Take care. Bye. Ajay, I was talking to your papa, telling him how hard you are working to go back to school. He is really proud of you. Ajay, I said I was talking to you. Uncle, your... I can hear you. Is there something wrong? Uncle, I'm thinking about having my own place. Are we not taking good care of you? You are wonderful to me. Actually, I want to explore things in life. Live out here on my own. I don't want to discourage you. But uh, how will you save money for your school if you live on your own? Please, uncle, I have made up my mind. I must be able to support myself and not be a burden on anyone. You are not a burden. We are a family. 
what i do understand the need to be self sufficient if you feel so strongly about it do what you have to do but remember you have a place to come back thank you uncle What the hell is that crap that you're burning? It smells funny. Agarbati. It doesn't kill you like what you smoke. May I finish my prayers, please? Okay. Okay. And don't forget you have to take Annie to school this morning. Hey, AJ. Mommy, mommy! What is it, honey? You have to buy ice cream for us. Why do I have to buy ice cream for you? Well, because I said so. And you said I was the queen of this house. So, you have to buy us all ice cream. Oh. Yes, my queen. Andy, go put your sweater and shoes on. Yeah! <laughs> I'm going to make myself a drink while we wait. Do you want one? No, thank you. I do not drink. You don't drink, smoke, or have a girlfriend. Do you do anything besides drive a cab and pray? Thanks, AJ. For what? Just thanks. If you could be anywhere in the world, where would you be? Hmm. Here. In San Francisco, in America. Not me. No? Where would you be? Anywhere but here. You know, Missy told me to get out, and the more that I think of it... Why would you hate it here so much? How could you want to leave such a beautiful place? Beautiful. Right. See, for you, it's all big, beautiful buildings, colorful people, the ocean. I just can't see that anymore. I think it all just sucks. Why do you always have this negative attitude? You know, that little girl gave me more reason to live than I ever could have imagined. The dumbest, simplest things excite her. I want her to be like that forever. I want it to be like this forever. But it cannot. And she will grow up. You need to be happy with yourself. I don't think that's possible. I wish I could understand. Andy, honey, it's time to go.
Are you okay? I'm fine. You better learn to concentrate on one thing at a time. I'm fine. Bye. Hello? Hello? Is Ajay there? Yeah, ma'am. Who's calling? Tell him Dr. Sharma. Dr. Sharma, hi. How are you? It's Amy. Hello, Amy. What are you doing over there? I live here. Uh, hold on. Here's AJ. It's for you. It's Dr. Sharma. Hello? Ajay, Uncle Sharma. Call to invite you on our 25th anniversary. Next Friday at our home. Well, congratulations, Uncle. Of course I'll be there. How was Auntie? Doing great. Good, good. Okay, I will see you next Friday then. 8 o'clock? See you then. Take care. Baby, mommy's really tired. Please, mommy, please. Come on, I'll go with you again. Okay, go with AJ. Have fun. I'll be right here. Thanks, AJ. You're welcome, Panda. <laughs> Amy, do you think it'd be possible for you to come home early tomorrow? Why? Just because. There's no just because with you. I know you better than that. <laughs> What's going on? It is my birthday. I thought it would be nice if we all had dinner together. Happy birthday, AJ. Thank you, Panda. I'll see if I can make it. I really will. What does that mean? Yes or no? I'll try my best, OK? I understand. It is your job again. Senor. Amy's jerking us around again. She needs to get straightened out. She's missing work. Blowing off clients, important clients. Saying she's sick or tired all the time. She won't listen, Poppy. I think she's doing business on the side. Cutting us out. There's another guy over her house all the time. Maybe he's running her. Then we teach her a lesson. Him too, if we have to. We have to maintain control. Otherwise, we lose our credibility. Salute. Where's mom? You want to have your party? Don't worry. She will be coming home soon. She must be very busy. Happy birthday. I'm really sorry I'm late. Really sorry. It's okay. You know I don't drink. Oh, come on. It's just champagne. I bought it especially for you.
Buenas noches, senorita. Please, Zapata, I didn't do anything. Who said you did? We are here for the party. <laughs> Who told you to buy this cheap shit? Please, just leave us alone. Us? Silky, don't hurt her. I need her body to make money for me. Cannot name her kid, eh, Jay? And me without a gift? I got a gift. Thank God the wound wasn't deep. You'll be okay in no time. I'll call your work and I'll let them know that you won't be in today. Tell me what is going on. Who are those men? Don't ask me that. I have to ask you. I told the police I would testify against those men. I want to know why they would do this. I work for those men, okay? I sell my body for those men. I'm not a stupid man, Amy. I know what you do. I've known for a while. Why didn't you say anything? It is not my business. I am not your family. I do not approve, but I care for you and for Andy. I came here to get as far away from my father as I could. I was completely broke when I met Misty, my old roommate. She brought me to Zapata and he gave me clothes, food, and he put me in this apartment with Misty. And Andy. My reasons for living. Where is her father? Why does he not come and visit her? I have no idea who her father is, okay? It could be anyone. Oh my God. That is disappointing. What do you want from me? I'm a whore, okay? I'm a failure in every way possible. Is that what you want to hear? You will not be needing to call my company. I will be going to work. Goodbye, Panda. I love you. Be a good girl for your mama. Don't worry about leaving me. It wouldn't be the first time I'm used to it.
me, where's AJ? Where'd he go? <laughs> He's gone, Panda. <laughs> You scared me. Is your leg okay? Where is Andy? She's gone to bed. Long time ago. I think a lot about what you tell me. It is not my place to judge you. But because I am your friend, it is my place to help you. And especially to help Andy. AJ, you don't have to explain anything. Please, let me finish. I care about you a lot. You both. Like a family. I do not. Amy, will you marry me? You know that I'm a prostitute. Were we start new, fresh, just like a family? <laughs> Say yes. You are the sweetest man in the world. But I can't. I can't say yes right now. But I'm not saying no either. What are you thinking about? You don't really know me. We barely know each other. We will spend the rest of our lives learning about each other. That is exciting to me. Oh, AJ. Every man in my life has been so bad, so wrong. Then it is time for a good man. You know, there's two girls that you're marrying here. Don't you know? I'm asking for both of you. Wife and daughter. My daughter. She will have a papa. I think I still need some time. Take all your time. I will inform my parents who will be coming for their blessings. What? We will be going to India to meet my parents. That is the way it is done. You're taking me to India? Yes, I am. And you will not say no.
you to meet Amy Johnson. Hello, Amy. Nice to see you again. Congratulations on your anniversary, Dr. Sharma. Mrs. Sharma. Did you know each other? It's just my doctor. When AJ said that we were seeing his uncle, I had no idea. It's a nice surprise. Come on. I would like to see you dance. Will you excuse us, AJ? Do you like something to drink? Uh, yeah, maybe some champagne. All right. Stella, is that you? Thank you for saving my life. They, they said it was a woman on the 911. I mean, I, I had to explain it to the old lady, and that was the tough part. It took a while, but eventually she bought it. When can we see each other again? It, it's just us. What no, 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 what? Mr. Smith. No, I, I'm not. I, I, I'm engaged to be married to Dr. Sharma's nephew, AJ. You're kidding. You're... you're retired? I'm gonna miss you. Badly. I'm sorry. Am I interrupting? AJ. AJ Sharma. Mr. Sharma, it's a pleasure. You're quite a woman. Quite a woman. In fact, I was just leaving. It's a pleasure to see you again. Good luck, Mr. Sharma. You uh, take care of what you do. I'm sorry. He's just an it's old... It's okay. Sometimes your new life and your old life will meet. I understand. Thank you. Son, did I show you what your papa sent me for my anniversary? No. Ladies, excuse us. We'll be right back. Sharon, take care of Amy. Do you understand what you're doing, Ajay? What are you talking about? How well do you know this girl? Amy. Please call her Amy. And I know her very well. Do you really know her very well? Do you know what she does for a living? She's a hooker. She's a prostitute. I know this very well, uncle. But I don't hold it against her. That is her past. It is not her future. But she... I understand why you feel the need to tell me this. But I'm in control of my life. I don't believe it's happening. Your father will be devastated. Does Amy know that you are engaged to be married to Nisha? No. It does not matter. I don't want to marry Nisha. I'm not going to marry Nisha. I live in America now. I will choose who I marry. Listen to you. You think you have come to America and you can marry a woman like that? Please, uncle. She's a nice person. She's very beautiful inside and out. When do you plan to tell your parents? We're going to India. We'll tell them together. I am warning you, Ajay. It is not going to be pretty. Are you prepared for your family's reaction? Yes, I am. Sorry to bother you. Amy's not feeling all that well. I think she's got that flu that's going around. Oh no. 
excuse me. Thank you both for the party. Ajay? Uh, would you consider what we have talked about for family's sake? but your phone number's different. Ah, yeah, Canada. we had that changed about a week ago. <laughs> yeah, this place looks great. Thanks. Ada's a clean freak, so I have no choice. <laughs> oh my god, it's so good to see you. What's going on? What are you doing here? Actually, I'm back for good. What? What happened? Let's just say shit didn't work out the way I planned. He was married. Oh, hon. Yeah, I didn't know he was just separated. Prick. Decided to go back to his wife and kids. Just like that. Hell, you're better off without him. Yeah. So here I am. Back where I belong. You quit smoking? You look great. Yeah? I think I'm getting married. But to who? AJ. The guy who lives with you here. The cab guy? <laughs> really? Congratulations. Are you happy? You seem happy. Yeah, I am. It's a really nice feeling. What about Andy? She loves him. We're going to India in a week to meet his family. Oh, yes! We're going to India. No, honey, you have to stay here. I'm sorry. But I want to go with you. I know, but you have school, remember? But it's not fair. I'll bring lots of presents back for my baby. How many? Mm -hmm. Too many to count. Okay. But do you want to stay with Miss Lazoya? Her house smells funny. I think we can help each other out. I need a place to stay for a few days. Why don't I stay here with Andy? And she won't have to pick up and move somewhere else for a week. You got a deal, girl. Welcome home. Two lassies, please. Amy, there is something I must tell you. When we get to my parents' house, there will be a girl there named Nisha. I am arranged to marry her. What? What the hell are you talking about? I am, I mean, I was arranged to marry her, but I am not. Um, here, most of the time, we do not choose who to marry. The parents have that right. You should have told me this before I came all this way. I was, I was afraid you would not come. Some sort of family rebellion thing? Because if it is, I really don't want to be in the middle of it. I make this decision because of my love for you and Andy. 
Nothing more. I will tell them I want to marry you. Not Nisha. I really don't think Mom and Dad are going to be too happy about this. No, they will not. But I will take care of it. God bless you, son. God bless you. <laughs> oh, Papa. How was the journey? Oh, it was wonderful, Papa. I'm so glad to be home. Ye gori call hai. This is Amy. Hello. Sharon and Tiki, Mr. Dal Hongi. अरे निशा बेटी जरा अंदर से जाकर तेल तो लाना अच्छा अभी लाए सब का क्या हाल है अजय तुमने बताया नहीं कि ये मेम साहब कौन है हेलो हाय मीनू अंकल शर्मा हियर हेलो अंकल शर्मा हाउ आर यू इज पापा एट होम श्योर जस्ट अ मिनट पापा डॉक्टर अंकल ऑन द फोन हेलो वी आर जस्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट यू सौ साल जिएंगे आप <laughs> क्या बात है या या ओ नो अरे अरे मुझे भी तो बताओ हुआ क्या है या आई विल टॉक टू हिम So son, whatever your uncle says, is that true? Yes, Papa. अरे हो क्या रहा है इस घर में? ये जो मेरे भाई है ना, ये उसके साथ यहाँ पे शादी करने आया है। बेटा क्या होगा? जब लोगों को पता चलेगा कि हमारी होने वाली बहू एक बच्चे की माँ ही नहीं? एक लंडी भी है हाय राम 
She is not. I mean, not anymore. She has changed her ways. Ab Nisha ka kya hoga? No. I thought you will glorify the prestige of her family. But you have disgraced us. Papa, please. I know you are angry. You have every right to be. But before you make your judgment, you must get to know her. Deep down inside, she is really a wonderful person. Please, give her a chance. What will you eat? I'm very much hungry. It's time to eat. Oh, oh. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. मम्मा hmm. कपड़े बदल लेने से इंसान थोड़ी ना बदल जाता है थैंक hmm? यू क्या कह रही है आप हाबा सम सीरियल साउंड्स गुड कैन आई हैव सम मिल्क प्लीज दूध दे दो ना पापा माँ को कह दो इसके साथ अच्छी तरह पेश आए ऐसा अच्छा नहीं लगता अच्छा और जो तू कर रहा है वो बहुत अच्छा लगता है ओफो। कम से कम इनके सामने तो चुप रहो आफ्टर द ब्रेकफास्ट आई विल शो यू अराउंड Final decision. We'll go with your choice. Some more fireworks. Hi, Ajay. Mom has sent these sweets for everyone. Happy Diwali. Same to you. I think I must go now. Mom is waiting for me. I think I must leave now. What's the hurry? She knows you're here with us. Yeah. But what? Ajay. How long have you known Amy? So tell me about Nisha and Ajay. They know each other. Since they were very young. They went to school together. Do you love her? And they have been good friends since then. Hmm. But what about marriage? My mother always wanted to bring her home as Bhaiya's wife. 
till we met you. Well, what do you think about it? Hmm? But Bhaiya loves you. That is all that matters. Are you happy with this decision? We all wish you the best of luck. Nisha, you know love cannot be selfish. If one really means it, you have to show that you care. You have to give all you can give. Yes, you're right. Love cannot be selfish. I can hardly hear it. I'll never let you on an airplane again. I don't know, maybe just because I'm so tired. You sure? Dr. Sharma, here are the files you requested on Amy Johnson. We tried to call her, but the number that she gave us was disconnected. 
I'll take care of it. I have a new phone number. Thank you. Amy, it's Uncle Sharma. He wants to speak with you. I told him you were asleep, but he said it was important. Thank you. Hi, Dr. Sharma. Yeah, this is Amy. <laughs> Good morning. I brought you your breakfast. How are you feeling? I don't have to go to my friend's wedding, but I feel obligated. No, no, you should go. I should use some alone time anyway. I know you miss Andy. Do you? I miss her just as much as you do. Look, I'm sorry. The things have been... A little uncomfortable for you since you got here. Why are you looking at me like that? Like what? I'm just... I'm just looking at you. If you want, I can cancel the program. <laughs> it's too late, AJ. What do you mean? I mean, because you made a commitment, you should go. Are you sure? Time to go, AJ. Will you uh, tell me new to come see me on your way out? Sure. Please feel better. I'll be back soon. Bye, AJ. So long. <laughs> do you need something? I need to do some shopping. I can't go with you. I have an exam today. Mm. Could you ask Nisha to take me to the market then? Mm, yes, I could do that. Thanks. Welcome. <laughs> Amy, why did you confirm your ticket to America without telling Ajay about it? Something very important has come up and I need to leave alone to take care of some business. Don't you want to wait till he comes back? I don't have time. I'll call him from America. But what about the marriage? Give this letter to AJ. It'll explain everything. Are you sure you want to do this? I have no choice. Minu! Are bhaiya! <laughs> Where is Amy, huh? How is she feeling? 
Jamma not to cook tonight. We will be going out for dinner. Bhaiya, she has gone back to America. What? How is that possible? I'm sure mother must have said something to her. Uncle Sharma called last night and Emmy went with Nisha to get her ticket confirmed. Nisha? this letter you'll be very upset with me but after meeting your family and meeting Nisha I've come to the decision that it would be best for all of us if you would marry her it's just not possible for me to change myself to adjust to your culture and your moral values we must forget everything that has happened between us I have to lead my life my own way Thanks for everything that you have done for me and Andy, and good luck to you and Nisha. Now what? Amy, you have been diagnosed with HIV. You are suffering from the progressive multifocal nuchal encyclopathy. It's commonly called PML. As a result, your immune system has dropped below 200 and it's dropping rapidly. What should it be? 450 to 500. I want to see you next week. Make another appointment. In case of emergency, please page me. What are you doing here? Where's Andy? We're staying at Misty's. Did you get my letter? That is why I came back. To find the truth. When are you gonna realize that we just don't work, AJ? We don't make sense. Just leave me alone. No, I will not. 
I don't think you really believe what you say. It doesn't matter what I believe, AJ. It's what's right. We are miles apart. Your family hates me, and I don't understand your culture. You need to face reality and leave me alone. Ma'am, is this man bothering you? What? Just mind your own damn business. Amy. What if you would have found out about this after we were married? Would you have left me too? What are you thinking again? You know, I just never imagined that I wouldn't be here to see Andy grow up. To see her go to the prom. To get a good education. To get married. You know, I've had a lot of bad luck, and I've made a lot of bad choices, but somehow I've always managed to get through it. I promise you today, I will make sure that our daughter has everything and that she becomes something that would make you proud. Don't worry. Well, doctors, what do you think? Alpha interferon, combined with AZT. I'd suggest heparin. I think the best way to go is cytosine or rabinocyte. In a recent study, cytosine was demonstrated to reduce symptoms in PML patients. Besides, it's well tolerated. What do you think, doctor? I agree. Well, thank you very much for your input. I shall be consulting you again as the time needed. Thank you again. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uncle, how is she? There is not much we can do. She has full blown AIDS now. All you can do is pray for her. Can I see her? Okay, just you.
something. Panda has something in it. I don't understand. Panda? You want to see Panda? She's here. We're doing it. I want you to rest. Get some sleep. Please. I love you. AJ, when's mommy coming home? I don't know, Panda. I miss her. No, Panda. Mommy's gonna come home soon, okay? Go to sleep. Tell you something. Panda. You want to see Panda? She's here. Hello? This is Uncle Sharma. 
Hello, Uncle. Please come to the hospital, son. How is Amy? No more questions now. Please. I'll be right there. Hey, AJ. Well, I guess I've left you with a hell of a responsibility. Hope you don't mind. I must thank you for all you've done for me. For once in my life, I felt love. Real, unconditional love. You've showed me the true meaning of giving without reservation. I, I did earn this money the hard way, but always with good intentions. The money is for Andy's education. I don't know how much she can buy with this, but I know it's better than nothing. The locket is for her to remember me, an angel to watch out for her. I know she'll do better than I did. She's a strong kid. And she's got you. How can she lose? Take care of her, AJ. And yourself. I love you. Thank you, Dad. I love you. I love you too, Panda. Hello? Dr. Andy Sharma? Yes? Sorry to bother you. We need you at the hospital immediately. I'm on my way. Thanks, AJ. 